Hey guys, and welcome to our vlog again. Um, this is our first vlog on the engine for our 50s Ford Custom Line, and this is a flathead V8. Okay, so we're looking at the valves today, and if you uh, look in there, these are kind of hard to remove. We have one removed right there. It was easy. That one came out easily because uh, it was seized in the valve. And some of these are seized. The valves are seized in the guide. Like that one, there should be no gap there. You can see on this side, it's sticking up a little bit and it's not being pushed back against the lifter by the, the um, springs. So what we're going to do is to first we'll hammer the spring or the valve back and we'll take out that valve. This is the first time I've done it. We just got a tool. This is the first time I've used this tool I should say. So okay. So we use the tool to lift that up if we can. Oops. Hopefully this works. And that's not working right. Go. So we use this tool. You uh on downstream on this one. If I could get it. There's little keepers in there. You pull, push that uh, part right there up, and you can pull the keepers out, then it slides down all the way down to the lifter, like it is right here. And that's what we've done. This is our first time, so there's probably better ways to do this. So. You just need to get pry the uh, valve up a little bit. This valve is so stuck in the in there that I don't think we're going to be able to salvage it. So we finally got the valve up a little bit so that we could pry it up theoretically. Okay. We're not going to reuse this valve because it seized so badly. So at some point, if we can't get it out, we'll just break the head off. Get to go. There it goes. And it broke. But that's okay. Because now, you can see where it broke off. Now, if we could get in there and if you uh, shine the light down the hole for the valve, we'll be able to get in there and hammer the guide out. We need to be able to pry, get the guide move enough that way to pry this out, and then we could pull the entire assembly out. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get it. Go. Okay, so by prying here and hammering, oops, sorry, wrong one. Prying here 
and hammering here like that, we were able to get this loose enough where the keeper comes up. And that's what's keeping the guide from coming up. And now, hopefully, this stuff will pop out. I really hope it comes out easily, more easily. Yeah. A little bit. What are those? Those are, uh, this is, this is the piece that kept the keeper in place okay. at the bottom. And this is what kept the, sh the this fit over that like that and kept the spring in place. Okay, this is the first valve that came out. I soaked it for a couple weeks in carb cleaner right here, and it didn't come loose, except enough that I was able to hammer the guide off because I don't know if you could. Yeah, it was rusted inside. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it shouldn't look like that. I don't believe. So the assembly of this that we're having so much trouble with is this goes in like that and it should be a lot smoother than that and then the spring goes like that the keeper okay so the, the valves pretend the valves in all the way the keeper goes in like this to keep it the guide from popping out the in, top of the engine and then this spring, this keeper goes there, and then the mushroom goes there, and then if you believe the uh, specs, and then these go in here over the valve, the end of the valve, like that, and that keeps the whole assembly together. That's how it's supposed to be. Now in this case, um, there's two valves that uh, were seized enough that have to be replaced. We haven't gone this guide out yet. We're still working on it. But I checked with the other guide if we can hammer it through this way, then it should have enough room to come out uh, underneath because we can't just, we're having trouble prying it up out of the engine that way. Now the other, the other valves we uh, checked earlier, they open and close fine. So we don't really need to mess with the other ones on this side. So they all they all move fine. We also we need to check this side again, but I believe they're all fine. Last time I checked, and we just need to get this thing out. We need a big bar. That might be too big. Yes. We need to find a bar that will fit in there that we can hammer through. No. No. 
That's not really working. That's not working either. So what else do we have? We have the chisel that we originally used. It's moving. Looks like the chisel is the tool. Okay. It's moving. There it goes. There it goes. That's the uh, old and guide. It broke off at the top. Yeah, it broke off. The valve broke off, and the whole thing needs to be replaced for that part. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the two valves out that were seized, and the other ones move freely when used with the uh, tool, and they don't, uh, and they easily snap back in place. So we're not going to mess with the other ones. So we'll come back when the we'll replace the valve and the two valves and the two valve guides probably be about. Sixty dollars for all four pieces, and when they come back, then we'll piece it back together and work on some other part of the engine. Thank Thanks you for, for watching. Thank you.